Today I put the 2024 stat leaders on the same team. These leaders led the league in steals, points, rebounds, assists, and many more stats throughout the NBA. The goal of this video is to see if these players can go 82-0 and win three championships in a row, and hopefully they can get it done. Well, we're not going to win 82 games on the season, however, we're still going to have an insane record. We ended up losing like two out of the first 10 games of the regular season, and then as you can see, we've only won a lost three since then. We did just have rookie of the year and six man on our team and Evan Mobley actually just won defensive player of the year over Victor. I'd be surprised if we have any all NBA players because their minutes right now are so limited. Shea and Victor both all NBA first team. I also did decide to do this for the Hawks because I realized I've never done anything with the Hawks in the video before. So here they are, the Hawks have an insane team. Victor averaging 17-9-3 over a steal over two blocks. A bonus with 12-11-9, almost a steal. Luka 19-8-7 over a steal. Shea 19-6-2. De'Aaron 17-5 over a steal. Tyrese 14-8. Steph Curry 19-4 off the bench. Clay 8 points off the bench. Daniel Gafford 3-4 and four off the bench as well. I will go through the stats. De'Aaron and Shea are leading the league officially in steals. I think De'Aaron beat him by like .003. I don't know where I saw that. Luka's leading the league in scoring. Victor led the league in blocks. Sabonis led the league in rebounds. Curry and three-pointers made per game. Tyrese Halliburton assists per game. Klay Thompson free throw percentage. And Daniel Gafford led the league in field goal percentage. So that is the team I made up of NBA South. Obviously that is not all the stats. But it's just some of the main ones as we are playing a six-seeded Heat. I guess Jimmy was right. We have Terry Rozier, Tyler Hero, Jimmy, Caleb Martin, who's playing fine, I guess. But Jamie is coming off the bench with Larry Nance, Kevin Love, Nikola Jovic. My gosh, we just have like four words off the bench. All right, I assume we're going to sweep, and we do. We are playing Jokic and the Nuggets in the finals here as they actually took a game on us. And Luka just won... Eastern Conference Finals MVP and Finals MVP, a player the Hawks actually would have gotten if they didn't trade him on draft night for Trey Young. I don't want to speak on it too soon now, but it looks like we might get the job done. 10 games left on the regular season, and we have not lost yet. None of the games have been relatively close anyway. The only changes I made were in the minutes, and I gave Klay Thompson. Oh my, bruh. Ain't no way we just lost by one, bruh. Oh my. Are you kidding me? I am done, bro. Well, we do not go 82 and 0. Victor actually just won MVP, getting 31 minutes a game. Tyrese was sixth man of the year as well. I can't believe we just had an MVP who averaged 31 minutes a game. Luca, all NBA third team as well shane victor all defensive first team once again and obviously we are the first seed man i hope we play the bucks in the playoffs victor with 20 12 4 2 and 3 it's a bonus 12 10 7 he's been a beast in rebuilds recently i've been doing some just like on my own for fun and dude is just that guy luca with 18 8 and 8 De'Aaron with 19 6 shea with 20 and 6, 2 steals as well. Tyrus was 16 and 8 off the bench. Curry 17. Clay was 6. Daniel Gafford with 3 and 4, but he's only getting like like 10 minutes if that a game because of the other players on their roster. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. I want to sweep this team, you bums. There's no way. We lost one game and it was like, like the 70 something win mark. And we lost by one, which just makes it any even worse. Shea with an Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Bro just shot 80% from three we are playing the thunder who actually lost shea but are still in the playoff picture with d'lo josh giddy Dort, jalen williams chet james harden sadiq bay Kaysom wallace and isaiah joe so it looks like they did fill out that guard position as we do get the 4-0 sweep on them and victor wins finals mvp for our second championship in a row it's got to be impossible to go 82 and 0 i've done it before on the channel but it's not happening in this video three seasons the closest we got was last season victor did just went back to back mvps tyrese with another six man of the year award as well victor all nba first team luca all nba second team and that is that all defensive first team we have shea and victor once again and then no one Else, once again, we are the first seed in our conference to no surprise. Pretty sure the stats are looking the same as they have every season. We have both Wimby and Luka over 21 points now. 
And yeah, pretty much the same exact stats from everybody. Clay's a 79 overall now, is 36 years of age. Bro was just on the decline of his career. I'm convinced he's the one holding us back for going 82. And oh, as we easily make it back to the finals against the Thunder once again, who'd still have their same starting five, but they've added Cooper Flag. And is that it? Did they just add Cooper Flag? I'm gonna help him out real quick because they should be starting that man. And they should also move Jalen Williams to like the shooting guard position. So let's just let's just move him to the three and Cooper Flag will probably start at the four. Let's simulate through the first game here as we take game one. There we go. Another running Jalen Williams and Cooper Flag and Dort is coming off the bench as he should. And it looks like it's not gonna matter as we go up 3-0. I'm gonna simulate this last game with Simcast here. As this is still anybody's game. We're low-key, we're losing here. We're kind of getting waxed at the moment. There is, oh my gosh, they, they won. They they won by 10. That's a little embarrassing. It's okay, we'll take another game with Simcast. I was going to sim in there, but I was not going to be able to help us at all as we put up 38 points in the first quarter. And then it kind of just fell down since then. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize we just won. All right, anyway, I'm not playing. Luca just averaged 21, 7, 8. Over two steals for finals MVP. Did shoot less than 30% from three, which is awful. I don't know how I'm going to do 82-0 and 0 again. I'll try to think of players best fit for it. But, I mean, if this team can't do it, who can? At that point, it's all just luck. We did end up winning three championships in a row for the Hawks using the NBA 2023-2024 stat leaders. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.